guys, it's a beautiful Sunday morning. How are you guys doing? So here we are at the Osaka Bay in the Awaji Island, and we are out for horse mackerel fishing today. So what I got here is the fishing rod. It's a light jigging rod, which has 6.2 feet with 20 pound braid and leader and the rig and my cooler bag and inside I got this frozen seawater in a bottle and my fish finder that's it and my kayak Stealth Pro Fisher uh, 575 So today we're gonna catch Aji, the horse mackerel. It's quite a popular fish in Japan actually. You can see this fish almost every market in Japan. Usually the size of the fish is about 20, 25 centimeters. Sometimes less than that, like 10, 15 centimeters. Like this size up to this size. But what we're gonna catch today is like this size or even this size possibly and this fish always comes to the top of the ranking for fishermen's favorite because it's really tasty good for sashimi grilled deep fried for like almost every cooking method so today we're gonna catch big sized horse mackerel and cook them into sashimi and miso kalpashio and maybe prepare some deep fried which we can keep them in the freezer for maybe a month or two so I'm gonna give you a little explanation about the rig to fish big size horse mackerel so this is the rod we're gonna use today 6.2 feet light jigging rod with 20 pound braid and leader and this is the rig we're gonna use today and we're not gonna use any bait just with this little hook and a piece of vinyl with it and tie them up with cringe knot one two three four Okay, and there are four hooks, one, two, three, four. It actually makes a good balance with uh, this kayak fishing. Sometimes people use the rig with like eight, but it's just too many for kayak fishing because the rig is too long and we can't handle it. So the total length of this rig is about uh, within 2 meters and 120 gram sinker with the water depth of about 40 meters. Okay, now it's set. You know, in this area, sometimes we run into hammerhead sharks. The size is about two meters to three meters. It's quite a big one. So always, we have to keep an eye on them, especially for kayakers. We're always close to the water surface. That was the happening last year when I caught some mackerels and tied them up here to bleed them. And after a while, when I picked them up, there were only their heads remained. That was hammerhead shock bit. They all bit off by hammerhead shark. So keep an eye on them. Otherwise, when you do like this, dip your foot in the water, your foot might get bitten off. Just 
scary. By the way, I still catch nothing. Even though I see some signals on my fish finder, they are not very active. As for sabiki action, you drop down to the bottom and you just stay there for a while. And then reel up a bit, maybe uh, uh, twice or three times, and then stop. We'll just keep reeling up slowly, slowly, dead slow. By the way, it's the perfect condition for a kayak fishing today. The ocean could have been calmer. No wind, no waves. Just stays calm, but the tide is constantly moving. And not very hot. Nice to spend outside. Okay, so I'm back home now. So look at what we got today. Six horse mackerel. These are much smaller than I expected, but it's all right. So let's cook.
So we're gonna use the head part for making soup. Okay, so now they're well prepared for cooking. But I'm not gonna eat these tonight, so I'm just gonna keep them in the fridge. Okay, so remove all the air inside the bag and put it in the fridge. And we're gonna cook it tomorrow. Let's see. So it's on the next day. I'm gonna start off with making aji paste. So let's get started. So yesterday we've already cleaned up all the fish. So it's easy this time. So first draw a guideline like this and don't cut off. Just uh, draw a guideline with a knife. And then peel the skin off. Pretty easy. We can do this only the fish is fresh because the meat is still firm. So the meat doesn't come off with the skin. It's done. And then fillet this up just regularly. So, if, so we have to remove these pin bones, but yeah, uh, this is the easiest way. Okay, that's it. And throw it out. And do the same thing here. Otherwise you have to pull these out one by one. It's really trouble. Yes. Okay, do the same thing for another one. green onion flake the ginger and this is the main ingredient miso probably this much if the taste is too light maybe we can add some later and a little bit of soy sauce okay um, Meeting. Add some sweetener and chop everything up. Mix. We have to keep chopping it until it is paste. What do you think? It's enough? It looks like paste. Yep. Actually, it goes pretty well with sake or even beer. It's kind of alcoholic dish. People love it when they drink. Let's taste it. Perfect. And it's done. Aji paste. If you like drinking, why don't you try this? It goes really, really well. Try it.